This is the church. I told Derek I wanted something with character. Oh, how beautiful is that? You can keep the photo for the article if you like. I've got plenty of others. Um, thanks, it'd be great. And this is the reception centre. Oh, uh, look, I've, I've got heaps, thank you. Derek and I are really thrilled you're doing this. <laughs> no, it's, it's wonderful. Um, and you can um, give me a call when he's got some time to have a chat. Uh-huh. He should be finished up in theatre late this afternoon, which gives me just enough time to write a list of the things he can and can't say. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Uh, yeah, I... Actually, I haven't been sleeping very well. I've been meaning to get to a GP to get something for it, but, you know, who has the time? Maybe I can help. I'd have to take a quick medical history first, but then we can go from there. I would really appreciate that. You've, you would save me so much time. Okay. There you go, love. That should get DJ's appetite back in a hurry. Oh, I just hope it cheers him up. He's been a handful lately. I love your hair. Oh, thanks. Yeah, did somebody put something in the water? I'm getting married. You guys have dates today? No, it wasn't the water. It was my speed dating fundraiser. I've always had talents as a matchmaker. <laughs> Fair income, Colleen. You'd take credit for Christmas if you could. <laughs> oh, good day. <laughs> How are you? Um, I've put us down here. You know, you haven't mentioned George once today. Why do I get the feeling you're not that excited about seeing him? Oh, I don't know. I just wish I could find someone that makes me feel like that. Gotcha! Aren't you guys getting sick of that game yet? No way. <laughs> Hi, guys. Ruby. Perfect timing. I've got to go to work, but Lee's going to be home in a sec. Can you take care of VJ? Yeah, no worries. Guess what, Ruby? What? Joey told me how to play Yuga. It's awesome. Cool. <laughs> mm, looks like you want to help there. <laughs> Don't forget to come by the station later. I won't. See ya. What are you doing here? Looking for you. Why aren't you at work? I've been interviewing uh, a bride. I came home to write my notes up and then I'm going to head back in and talk to the groom. Well, that's all well and good, but when you're not interviewing, I expect you to be in the office. Well, that's not how I work. You don't seem to get it, do you? Jerry may have been lax and let you work your own hours, but Jerry's gone and I'm in charge. <sighs> What's the problem if I get the work done? The problem is that it builds resentment among other staff members. And when we're talking about other staff members being resentful, we're talking about you, right? Let's just call this a long lunch break that you're on. Be back in the office in 20 minutes or you can clean out your desk. Hey. Wow, you look better. Mum, I feel awesome. Oh, well, I think this is going to cheer you up. I hate them. What do you mean they're your favourites? They used to be. Oh, no, Donna wanted kids, but, uh, oh, I don't know, we just kept on putting it off. Money was scarce back then, and uh, we were working really long hours. And, of course, by the time things got easier, the relationship had soured. So, how long are you being separated? Oh, a couple of years, but the marriage was over a long time before that. Here we go. Just the ticket. Your lunch won't be long. Thank you. Now... Tell me about your kids. How often do you see them? Ah, uh, not very often. To be honest, I've got my hands full with the mob I look after now. <laughs> right. Because, you know, you haven't really talked to me much about them at all. Um, what, what are their names? Uh, Nathan, Finn and, um, oh, Damien, isn't it? Uh, yeah. You know what? I might go see what's holding up lunch. No, no. Irene, please, wait, wait, wait. Look, um... I, I, I don't want to sound pushy, but we've been on three dates now, and um, I've been rabbiting on with the warts and all version of my life, and you've said virtually nothing about yours. And um, I'm starting to get the feeling that you're not interested. Oh, no, no Lou, I'm, I'm really sorry if I've given you that impression that the opposite's true. I, I love spending time with you. Oh, that's, that's great. So, so why won't you share anything about yourself? Because, um, if you won't let me get closer, there's not really much point continuing. 
Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I, I suggest you take a big swig of that glass of wine. Because uh, what I'm about to tell you isn't pretty. I'm Irene Roberts and uh, I'm an alcoholic.